And wherever you are joining us from, the program is Sport Beard on Super Screen Television, where you can get uh, the very best of sports from the happening in the Nigerian sports scene, as well as the rest of the world. On Star Times, uh, we're on Channel 173 and on UHF uh, 45. You can get uh, the very best uh, from us right here on Super Screen Television. Let's go back to football right now. And um, someone uh, is actually saying, our kids will never uh, represent Nigeria if things continue uh, the way it is. Uh, Messi Akide, uh, we all know her. She's a former Super Falcon striker and she's not really happy about the state administrative aspect of sports in the country, particularly uh, football. I think, um, Tola, you really want to say she's spot on in all of this because uh, she's looking at what actually transpired between uh, the Super Falcons and the, uh, the NFL, the fact that up to now, I think they've not been able to get uh, some of the allowances. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I would like to say she's married to one of the people uh, in the football. Yeah, uh, yeah, Colin. Colin Udo. Colin Udo, yeah. And then uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't understand uh, the message she's trying to pass because the first thing is that this is an organization your husband works with. The first thing is that you tell your husband about it, what is really happening? And then whatever they are able to say, because I don't believe she just, uh, I think the only thing she's just trying to pass across here is that she's trying to let us know that by the time she has kids, grown up, doing sports, and the NFF, probably Nigerian football, uh, Nigerian sports body wants to come for them. She will not be releasing them. Yeah, they said she's, yeah, our children are Americans. That is it. She's mm. just trying to pass... I think a mild threat, if I want yeah, to call it. So that I think it should be a wake-up call for the yes, uh, our administrators. Definitely, because uh, it's it's a direct message to the husband who is part of the NFF, hmm. and that means the husband should be going across to them and telling them, if my wife is saying this then we should do something. Uh, <laughs> all right, we just hope that, uh, you know, eventually, <laughs> if our kids actually grow up to, to engage in sports, uh, they will actually be donning the green, white, green jersey of Nigeria. Let's quickly look at the result of matches played over the weekend in the English Premier League. Wolverhampton Wanderers uh, lost to Liverpool by 0-2. to two. Arsenal uh, with Alex Iwobi getting one of the goals, defeated Burnley uh, by three goals to one. Bournemouth uh, defeated Brighton by two goals to nothing. Chelsea uh, lost at home to Leicester City, while Huddersfield lost also at home to Southampton. You want to say Southampton is back uh, after beating Arsenal last week. Uh, they've actually uh, won another one, which is really very good for for them. Another surprising result, Manchester City uh, lost at home at the Etihad uh, to Crystal Palace while West Ham and Fulham, Newcastle United and Fulham played out uh, goalless draw. West Ham United lost at home to Watford City uh, while Cardiff City uh, got a person of their lives in the ends of Manchester United as they lost uh, by 1-5. to five. And the other one, a uh, big one, when some of the, uh, the pundits actually felt uh, Tottenham Hotspur might just be losing Point uh, as a result of the opposition uh, they are playing against, but um, was a different one entirely because Tottenham went on rampage, beating everything by six goals to two. Tola, I think we really have to start talking about uh, some of the games. The big one before we come to Liverpool, who seems to be on the ascendancy right now, uh, Chelsea against all odds, against all expectations, lost to Leicester City at home. Yes, uh, they had their chances in that game and um, I think they were just um, being um, like a Dasikau. It was a game they could have won and I saw them, you know, had so many chances. They hit the woodwork and they created so many chances. But, um, you know, if I say they were like a Dasikau, it means they felt we could win. But they were not really matching up their play with their expectations. It's poor for them because right about now they are sleeping down the pecking order and they ought to be closing down the gap between Liverpool and Man City. But instead, they are even making the gap even much bigger. Not a mm. good one for them. I think they should be focused on the game they have on Boxing Day. But right about now, I think um, the margin between themselves, that, talking about that's what, Spurs I and Chelsea, you. is now five points. Mm. Asari said they cannot win the league anymore. Well, it's a big it's it's, 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 it's it's too big a, 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 a sentence a, no no i think it's too big for him for, it's too big an expectation for him to win the league right about now because there's a way he gets his 
team playing. And I think the team are still coming to terms with that. And we must also consider the fact that they don't have a top nine. Both of um, Oliver Giroud and um, Morata, um, yeah, have been, they've been fluffing their lines and he's been looking to play Hazard in the first nine position. So things have not really been working for them. I think I will still give Sari just one more season to get it right. All right. Crystal Palace went to the Etihad and got <laughs> the three points. How were they able to achieve that? I can't understand it. Because I saw a Crystal Palace fan before the game. He said, if we have a corner in this game, I will celebrate it. <laughs> and they went ahead to win he, 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 he knows the strength of, 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 of the, the, the one of the best teams in Europe right now let's forget about the fact that they lost mm. is Manchester City all due respect to Guardiola and his boys you know they've been fantastic they've been confident in their play but what do you know they got the shocker of their life last weekend which shows you that the EPLA is very competitive any team at any point in time could come and defeat you anywhere at any point in time. Manchester United back with their new uh, caretaker coach with a very, very sweet victory. Yes, it's in just, a, I, yes, I would say it's just a breath of fresh it, confidence. Mm, That's just it. It mm. doesn't mean they will go ahead winning and winning. You know, when you change managers, it lifts a siege from the players. You know, they've been playing under a particular pressure before, but now the, um, the manager is no more there talking about Jose Mourinho. Mm. This is a former player, a former legend, according to United fans. The only thing I remember him for was scoring the scoring winner in, in 1999. Nothing special about the player. But you know, he has come in, there is a breath of fresh confidence around the club. And for the first time ever since Salex retired, they yeah. scored five goals. Goals, goals, which means the confidence is back in the team. And they have a couple of, you know, favorable fixtures to navigate, which means if they can get their heart together, you know, they can even look to fight for the top four. But I would say it will be a very, very difficult expectation of Manchester United. Tola, Liverpool can't just stop winning. They can't stop, just stop scoring. Um, it's not, uh, okay, we're not surprised that they actually won the game Definitely. over Anthony, but can they sustain the momentum? I'm not sure they can sustain the momentum. Uh, if you look at the Premier League, it's a game of uh, 38 games over the course of a season. It's not a sprint, it's a mm. marathon. Mm. And it takes so much, so much to be the best. You know, it takes you to escape injuries. Right about now, they are battling injuries with James Milner covering uh, at right back for Trent Alexander Arnold and a couple of injuries uh, for Matip and some other players. But right about now, I think they've been able to match their uh, uh, attacking prowess with their defensive stability, which is working for them. They never played fantastically well over the course of the weekend. Talking about the game at the Molyneux against Wolves, but they got the job done. The ability of a quality team, a top team, is to be able to achieve results even when things uh, are on their going, bad day, when they are not even playing well. Definitely. So I think they are showing the hallmarks of champions, but nothing is won until something is won. And if you look at the course of the past 10 years, all the teams that have been top at Christmas have won it, except Liverpool in 2008, <laughs> 2009, and in 13-14 season. So I think the expectation of Liverpool fans should be modest. Don't say because we are top at Christmas, we will win it. Because this team have twice been top at Christmas and eventually they fail to win it. All right, Arsenal against Burnley. Uh, the good thing is that, you know, apart from the fact that, you know, the Prince of Gabon, Pre Emerick, Ahmad Abameyang, uh, back the brace, our own Alex Iwobi also got one of the goals. Yes, it's been quite a while since we saw it. it will be on the score sheet and it's a good one for him, you know, it boosts his confidence. Oh, all right, we have another caller, so that shall have. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Buddy from Sumeri. Yeah, uh, hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, buddy. Yeah, my name is Buddy and I'm calling from Sumeri. Yeah, all right, go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, I'm enjoying your program. You are doing a very fantastic work. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Uh, logically, I just um, changed the station to to keep in touch. Mm. However, my contribution simply goes to the performance of um, Liverpool so far. Okay. They've been doing well, but you and I know that by January, between January and February, they normally drop from. Hmm. So those those are the days that one should be looking up onto. Hmm. The, instead, they keep the momentum. And that's when you will say, "Oh, Liverpool is outstanding." Hmm. But when it gets to this period, that's when you will know whether they are they are really competing for the league or not. Hmm. 
However, Manchester City is very, very outstanding. Okay. Yeah. Right. They are very, so very you, outstanding. You, you and think, you think, uh, unfortunately, my team, which is um, Chelsea, uh, lost on... Um, <laughs> But we believe we can definitely get on track. Oh, Savi said you guys can't win the league anymore. He said the league, uh, the title is beyond your reach right now. Yeah, that's just what I have to say. All right, thank you very much uh, for your contribution. Uh, I think, uh, Tola, I think uh, he just spoke your mind because he said he's still not a Hulu yet because yes. um, you still feel Liverpool might just still capitulate. But I still don't, I, I feel, I mean, some uh, what's it called that can be broken uh, anytime jinx are uh, meant to be broken anytime yes i feel that true. this might just be um you know liverpool season yes uh, there are so many things that points towards the fact that liverpool could be winning in this season but but it is not done until it is done there's still so much hard work to go down mm -hmm. which means liverpool if they are still at top come march april I think they should be good for the title. You know, they've just qualified for the groups for the knockout stage of the Champions League, which has added so much more intensity and pressure Absolutely. to the games they will be playing. The mm. FA Cup resumes January. So, so many games to navigate, which would affect the play of the league. Mm. So, we see how they are able to, you know, uh, we see how Klopp is able to, you know, manoeuvre mm. teams mm. and uh, over the, uh, the course of the season, we will see. We will see because Guardiola, he, he, just, he doesn't just give up. All right, we have, a, we have another caller. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, we can yeah. hear you clearly. Go ahead with your contribution, please. Yeah, my contribution starts from um, Liverpool. Okay. Yeah, the only you, you support Liverpool. Liverpool. They are inconsistent. Speak up, Shagun. They are not always consistent. Okay. That's one. Then, and ask now, on ask now. Uh, I thank God for it because ever since the last match is played for the Super Eagles, it dropped from the other, it dropped from mm. not only the last match is played, where it was the third goal for the Gunners. Mm. And there's something um, about the thing about Ruby. Ruby is better out starting from the bench. Mm. Comes on from the bench, usually platform better, better than he starts. Okay. Because I'm an Arsenal fan, uh -huh. so I observe the format very, very well. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much uh, for your contribution. Uh, he actually said, um, you know, Iwobi is a better player. He tends to always have, uh, you know, his contribution in the second half is always more intense uh, than, than when he starts a game. You, you, you share that opinion? I think I share the opinion that... Um, the because I think in Arsenal the last few games, team. Arsenal, I mean, Alex Iwobi, I watched him against uh, Tottenham Osborne, and he was simply anonymous uh, in that game. I think I would tilt to the opinion of the fact that Arsenal as a team are always good in, in the second half. Mm. It's not just a matter of Alex Iwobi alone. I think it's the whole Arsenal team. In mm. second half, they seem to hop their game. All right, let's bring you the highlight of some of the games that went down over the weekend in the English Premier League. Okay, hello. Oh, all right, we have another caller. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, uh, I appreciate the program too. Thank you very much. Then, but there's something I observe, and I wish you could be doing that as you are giving us uh, this analysis. So, be showing us the clip. Yeah, that's exactly what I just wanted you know, to do that right that now. The thing that would do. Yeah. All right, I'm, go I'm okay, just going to do, do that, that, that right away. Awesome. All right, thank you very much uh, for your contribution on the show. Let's bring you the highlights of some of the games uh, that were played over the weekend in the English Premier League. <laughs> 